Ternary diagrams could be a very useful tools for classifying crude oils. Here you see a ternary diagram, a, a triangle in essence. On the corners of the triangles, we can see pure uh, hydrocarbons. At the top, where you see 100% aromatics, that is just one point at the top represents pure aromatic uh, compounds. On the left hand side at the bottom, 100% paraffins point on the corner, and on the right, 100% naphthenes. The lines that connect these uh, points represent binary mixtures. For example, if you connect aromatics corner with the paraffins on that line, you will only have aromatics and paraffins. As an example, uh, let us define the, uh, the region in this uh, ternary diagram for the group one or classification one crude oils that are paraffinic crude oils. You see the horizontal line uh, with an arrow pointing downward. So below that line, the content of paraffins and naphthenes is greater than 50%. Above that line, obviously, aromatics are greater than 50%. Now establish the second boundary line for the group 1 crude oils, that is paraffinic crude oils. You see the vertical line right in the middle of the triangle, separating the triangle into two areas. To the left of that vertical line, we will have paraffins contents greater than naphthenes everywhere to the left of this line. So with these two boundary lines then, one horizontal, one vertical, we have established a region where the content of paraffins and naphthenes are greater than 50% and paraffin contents are greater than naphthenes. But to establish the region for the type 1 crude oils, we need the third boundary line. So you see here the line that is designating paraffin contents greater than 40%. So to the left of that line in the triangle, the paraffin contents is greater than 40%. So all these three lines then designate the group 1 or type 1 crude oil region in the ternary diagram. That is the paraffinic crude oils region.